Hey, everyone. It is Gerald Glassman. Thanks so much again for watching this thing. Truly appreciate it. It is, of course, the Lakers fast break. Truly cannot thank you enough for joining us here. Looking forward to a great game tonight. It is Gerald. I'm going to be uh, just finishing up getting my pizza ready. I've got the pizza right there in the oven heating up right now. I've got the cold water right there waiting in the fridge for me to grab. I'm going to go ahead and get started here. It'll be, I'll probably just be a few, uh, maybe a couple minutes to get that started, but uh, we'll be right back here and I'll see you in time. Right now. Right now. Right now. Yubi, you got Lakers by 18. I got them by 12. We're going to see what we can do to get that done. My piece is still just finishing up, heating up. So we all, almost got this all ready here. I'm ready. I'm getting psyched. Got the cold water right here to make sure the old pipes are going to stay okay. And we'll see what we can do to get this thing done. Let's go, Lakers. We can do this. We can do this. Oh, I know, Alan. Uh, I've been watching the other games about what they're calling and not calling. So uh, I think the Lakers, I think if it's the playoffs, they're going to let some of the stuff go. Uh, but how much? We'll see. Uh, the Knicks lead with, by four uh, with four minutes left. So definitely rooting for the Knicks in this case because that means all the other home teams that have won today is hoping that there's a, if there's a road team that wins, may it be the Lakers. <laughs> I'm telling you, Doobie, you need to go one of those t-shirt sides. T-shirt sites where you can make your own designs, and you, you, I'm telling you, you gotta make a T-shirt. You hate ham and wins and losses, and then go and get a patent for it, get a copyright for it, for that as well, and make a fortune.
I don't share that same confidence, Alan. I think he has done enough to save his job. I'm not saying I like his job performance. I'm just trying to be in their mindset, if you guys know what I mean. I just think the way they evaluate things and also do they want to pay for another coach. I'm, even if they get swept, I, I just don't see them firing Jarvin. I hope I'm wrong, Doobie, because I feel much the same way as you do. But uh, I just don't think we will be that long. Yeah, I, I understand that. That's a good point, Alan. That's definitely a good point. Doobie, if he can give us 20 minutes, Doobie, I know we've been hard on Flint all year, but if he can give us 20 minutes, good solid basketball, make four or five threes, I could be right. I think the key is, how up and down and inexperienced the bench is without brown and green, and we'll see how it is. I mean, is Reggie Jackson going to be enough for you guys? Is Peyton Watson going to play at a high level for you guys for them? Who knows? Uh, we must we must have the advantage uh, on the bench, and you know, Alan, that's been something that's been very suspect of us. Our bench is just as suspect and up and down and inconsistent as the Denver bench. So that could be a key. That could be very much a key. Pace, hey, yeah, well, of course, the Lakers, I've been saying this, you've heard me for years now. The Lakers have play best. When, when you're LeBron, you play best with Pace. LeBron plays best when he's going downhill. Uh, it's just that's what it is. I mean, back leading back to the bubble series, leading back to 2019, 2020, the Lakers are best when they're playing good defense and in transition. Now, they've added the three-point shooting, which could really benefit the Lakers if they shoot 40-plus percent for the series. I'm talking from the three-point area. That helps. But also, rebounding. Limiting the number of offensive rebounds for the other team and getting into transition. If they can get in the transition, Denver is not a great transition team. So, there you go. Yeah, it has to start now, Doobie. This is, this is a lot of money. Really, Doobie. <clears throat> We're talking millions of dollars could be on the line for Dilo in this series. So, we'll definitely, uh, definitely see what happens. I think I hear my pizza's ready. I will go and pick it up, and I will be right back, guys. Oh, well, that, that goes without saying, Alan. But I don't know. Dilo, he loves his, his heat check. Yeah, it should be about pride, Doobie, but come on. Come on. You know that's somewhere in his mind is if he dominates or plays at a high level. to see what happens. So it is worth a lot of money. Here goes nothing. Game one starts right now. All right. 
glad you're joining us. I'm going to go ahead and make sure we follow along here on YouTube and also as well on Facebook. Please share your thoughts in the comments and no live feed. Please don't tell me you don't want to see my ugly face on Facebook. FF this, FF this, where's the feed? We are not showing the game live feed. We do not want to get our channel shut down. I already said this. It says it's in the description. So please. Make your comments only. Please. Go like this or questions. I'm more than happy to go ahead and answer those. <laughs> Lakers give up an early basket. No movement. Not good. What the heck is that there? That's not the way you start off. Nice, nice. Good read. Let's go. Thank you, Nick, my friend. What's up? What's up, Gerald? Um, Tie game. Yes. Um, <laughs> I'm hoping we steal th this one for sure. Absolutely. I think that's a big key. If we can start putting it, well, of course, if they give up, play defense like that, they won't. But if they can take this game, Nick, I think it really starts to put a little doubt in the mind of Denver. And that that's half the battle right there. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, it'd be a godsend if they're able to take this one. Uh, great to have you here, my friend. LeBron backing down. Bully ball, yes, in. We'll take that. I saw LeBron get kind of uh, danced on a little bit uh, by, I think it was Gordon, right? Mm-hmm. Um, Correct. I, I mean, Gerald, I find solace in the fact that LeBron's been here so many times, right? Yes. And... Obviously, Denver has to, but not as much as LeBron. <laughs> this is true. What was that? But I don't want to pass up the fact that we just saw great defense by uh, by Austin Reeves on on uh, Jamal Murray. That's that would be an extra bonus if he can play like that. Look at that. Look at that. They're switching, but they've got hands out. Oh, and a foul. That, that was an interesting sequence, uh, Rui on uh, Joker. Yes. Uh, well, they did this last year, remember? They remember game one after, what was it, second half of that first game? They went to that, and it, w it worked out for them coming back a little bit. Uh, by game three, though, it kind of wore itself out. And uh, the Lakers had to abandon it after, I think, game three. Uh, that's too far out. Both him and D'Lo shooting too far out. They're going to need to take a step in. Oh, they're double teaming him. That's not good. Exactly what Laker Tom was talking about. Oh, Rui. No. G Gerald, you don't agree with the Joker double team? Um, I the I I think I agree with anytime you cannot don't have to double team him if you're able to get away with it, I think that is just better for your defense. I think double teaming him uh gives him all the advantage. As far as because he's such a gifted passer. 
He is such a gifted passer. I double teaming it really gives him the advantage. Nice. There we go. D I have to say, like he keeps on playing with his confidence. Things could be interesting. Absolutely. I would say I know Doobie was <laughs> disagreeing. Oh. Oh no, no, no. Okay. Disagreeing with me a little bit. Um, and saying that a lot of money, I think, is on the line. He said it should be about pride and not money, but you know these NBA players, it's a lot of it that has to do with money. Uh, and I think a really good performance in this series would help cement a 20 plus million dollar contract year per year average for him, in my opinion. Lakers didn't let them get off to a good start, Nick, and that's a good thing. Oh, nice, nice. Oh, that's a foul. That has to be a foul. Yeah, check for a wallet on that one. Technical to kick him out. <laughs> exactly. Oh, if only Stone was here. Uh, but that's what I want to see, Nick. I do not want to see him shooting threes. I, I absolutely love that, that he actually uh, did not – pull off the three and, and went to the straight to the basket and gerald i'll underscore what you said earlier uh you know when the lakers are on defense you see them you know hands up trying to cut passing lanes oh there we go there we go yes three for lebron gerald i, I could hear tom's uh screams right now <laughs> exactly i i saw mrs Th uh, laker tom earlier and i was saying poor miss laker tom what she'll have to go through over the next uh few games is that traveling? Oh, a foul? Oh, my God. That's so weak. Uh, but you know what? It, uh, Nick, it, the, hey, Frank, what's going on, my friend? I know, Alan, refs are calling soft. They aren't doing that in the other games I saw today. But I will say this, Nick. If the Lakers can shoot 40% in the series from behind the arc and 50% all from uh, overall, I think they have a definite chance. That I think that has to be a key. Yeah. And Gerald, to just yeah. uh, also uh, highlight something that I think you were saying, um, I don't know if it was in last night's show or, or today, uh, but I believe you said that you refuse to believe that the Lakers will lose um, like in double-digit straight games against the Nuggets. I tend to agree. They have to at least win. Man, I, I hope they at least win one of the first two games. Oh, absolutely. They cannot leave Denver without a split. I understand it's statistically not impossible for them to win if you know if they get down go 0-2. But yeah, if they go down 0-2, you know, as Frank will tell you, just like a, he doesn't think that the Mavericks should go down 0-2 in, in, in LA, you have to at least get a split, uh, you know, to set the tone. It get it puts doubt in another team's mind. Oh, so you think at the, you think it's not a bad thing if the Mavericks, Frank, uh, lose the first two in in LA? Good point, Alan. Yeah, Kawhi is not playing game one. Yeah, that's I I saw I heard about his warm ups with Ty Lue and all that. Um, yeah, Frank, I just think any, you know, the team with the lower seed always has to take one, one. They always have to split. It is just so much harder to come back down from 0-2. Um, go ahead. Ger Dan. Yeah, uh, Gerald, just because uh, uh, Frank and uh, and you were talking about the Clippers, uh, let's say they flame out, which we anticipate and hope they will. Like, what's the future for that team? Well... You know, they're trying to sell tickets in that new arena. I saw, I don't know, Nick, if you passed by there where they're building it. I did the other, I did when I was in LA and uh, that's, it's going to be expensive. So they do need to sell tickets. So, I mean, even if you have a mediocre team there, it's got to have some name and star power to fill those seats. Don't you think? No, definitely. And obviously uh, Bulmer has, has the funds, but. You know, it'd be what um, five five plus years of just the uh, you know the Paul George and 
Kawhi Leonard tandem not producing like results, uh, not anywhere close to where you know that team was hoping to be. I think if they were still in the crypt, I think it would change their mindset. But I think they have no choice. They have to commit to these names because those names sell tickets. And it may not ever get them a championship. Most likely it won't. But they still sell seats, Nick. And I think that right now when you open up a new arena, that's more important to Steve. Do you think Westbrook continues with the Clippers, uh, Gerald? How many options does he have? I mean, you got to remember, there's going to be two or three over 30 point year old point guards that are. Oh, man, that was bad. Um, I, I do think he'll he'll stay for the Clippers, but maybe for the minimum or. Oh, nice shot. Nice, nice. Right back at him. If I was the Lakers, I would go to LeBron every time right now with Aaron Gordon off the floor. Oh, man, you can't give him that shot. Hey, Frank, did uh, PG go? Oh, comments kind of seem like he's tired of quiet. Oh, always being injured. Yeah, I would imagine he would be. But again, PG's not been the beacon of health himself. And then you've got James Harden as well. I thought he was. I thought he was getting his uh, playoff P on and all that. There, that's nice. Oh yes, nice pass. Yes, all the way. Yeah, that's what we need to do, guys. That's what we need to do. Stay on him. Uh oh, Delo's on him. Somebody <laughs> switch. Go ahead, Nick. I'm sorry. No, I'm j I'm just kind of impressed that deal. I mean, I know Adilo is not a great defender, but I'm at least impressed that he's like running and trying to stick to his man on defense. I think that's encouraging to see. It is. It is. I agree with you. Uh, but another key I made was that they have to get they have to limit the offensive rebounds for Denver, and you just saw what happens when you don't. So. But you know what? I cannot argue, Nick, with a 20 to 14 lead to start off the game. No, I mean, especially remember, Gerald, at the beginning of the season, us losing drastically in the first quarter was uh, commonplace. Yeah, exactly. And that can't happen here. I mean, Denver Denver's a front-running team. Once they get out on you, uh, they're, they're good at just stepping on your throat. This is what I worry about, Nick, though. Uh, Austin Reeves taking it up, handling the ball. We saw him get picked a couple times uh, by Alvarado. Oh, nice. Oh, he's got to make that shot, Nick. That's too easy. Yeah, I mean, for LeBron, who's like 6'8", six, 6'9", six, I mean, you, you got to think that that is like the easiest shot in the world for him. Yep, and he just got the other guy guarding him um, a foul. Is that Watson? I think that's Watson. A UCLA product right there. So, I mean, it, it just, again, I think uh, if they can win the minutes when Jokic is out of there, I think that really will help them out. Oh. Ah, come on. Got to hit that shot. Gerald Austin's shot, like, I, I'm still not confident in it. Uh, um, I know sometimes it goes in, but sometimes, oh, oh, my goodness, come on. There we nice. go. Get a man. Find a man. Uh, AD's got to pay attention. Man. Just got to regroup, like actually set up a play here. It's very careless. I do want to get them in the transition, but not the cost of turnovers. Oh, now they're doubling. No foul there? Are you serious?
Uh oh no, they got a oh. Gerald, not, not sure I want Dinwiddie in there. I'd rather have Vincent. Nice. That's what I want to see. He is mad. Davis is mad. <laughs> Asshole's going to be calling N1 or what? Hey, Joe. Yo, what's up, Joe? It was funny because uh, it was a doobie. Oh, man. Gosh. Cover that three. That's two threes for him. Nice. Pace is really good right now. Yeah, Gerald, I feel like one of the keys is to make uh, uh, the Joker run a little bit. You know, he doesn't like to run. Exactly. Maybe. Oh, that's a yeah. Thank you. That's two fouls on Watson, which is good because he's hit two threes already. Randy Watson. Alan, I know, remember, you called earlier that they were calling soft calls. It's weird. It's very uneven the way they're calling like either the softest of fouls or they're they're not calling anything at all it's weird i'm feeling good too alan yeah i may you're right it may benefit us we'll see again we gotta we gotta make sure we play our game too we do draw fouls better that we do Gerald, by, by the way, I had a chance to try out the QR code that you have on the shows now. Uh, it looks mm -hmm. really well done. Um, so, thank you. I was I was asked. I was hoping that was something what you had in mind. Yeah, yeah. No, I like how you designed it with the kind of the LFB like uh, colors and all that. So, um, I think it was nicely placed too. Absolutely. Yeah, it's a one stop shop where you can find all of our links and uh, you know where you need to go to. So. Uh, if we do ever get a consolidated site like you and I were talking about, uh, I would just add it in there too and be able to, uh, you know, people be able to access it really easily. So, yeah, no, that was a great idea do it with the QR code. So I got to give you the credit on it. Knicks with the victory tonight, 111-104. Alan says, I like the idea of Rui on Jokic because AD and LeBron can save energy. Yeah, if you remember last year, it worked for a little while. Um, at least in that first game, it helped the Lakers come back in that first game. So I'm, I'm hoping that they found some way that they can sustain, like you say, Rui on Jokic and get away with it, which will give AD a better chance to play more off ball. I saw that, Alan. They're, they are trapping. But LeBron has been taking advantage. But I think a key guy is coming up right now is that it's, I think, the period we're going to start seeing some subs for the Lakers. So just saw Dinwiddie. Going to see Vincent. I'm here pretty sh I'm sure pretty soon. And Jackson Hayes and Torian Prince. And those four have to get it done. I think it, well, it all depends. Do you have Jokic off the floor? Do you shadow AD? Do you shadow Jokic's minutes with AD? So when AD play, when AD's on, when Jokic is on the floor, AD's on the floor. He's not in foul trouble. So that's a good thing. But Frank saw the Lakers without AD. All right, let's get this going here. 
It is true. I agree with you, Frank. Oh, nice. Because he's not going to come out and guard AD for that. He'll give the AD that all day long. Oh, wow. LeBron's guarding Jokic. Come on, LeBron. Kind of play him. He played him a little bit too timid, I think, on that one. All the way, all the way. Nice. Way to finish strong. Blue Magic, Raphael, what's up? Great to have you here on YouTube. Oh, nice block shot. Oh, my gosh. Uh, I got to get the rebound. Oh, nice. Oh, foul, foul. That was a smooth, like, Magic Johnson-like pass by LeBron there. Yes, it was. I agree. Good point. Yeah, like Alan, I saw that like a dashing, it was like a dashing bounce pass. There we go. He wound up for it too. Blue magic so far. I'm feeling good about it too. Absolutely. Great to have everyone here. What's up, Facebook? Uh, no live feed for the game, but you're following along with us on the scoreboard and chat. It is Gerald Glassford. Thanks again for watching and listening. I'm here with Joe Sorrow and Laker Nick. Part of our team coverage here on the simulcast. Best chat that's out there is the Lakers fast break. Please don't cuss us out for the lack of a uh, live feed. <laughs> exactly. Well, I, that'll be regardless. People won't read the description and they'll just go ahead and say, oh, why don't you F and have the feed? I don't want to see your F and ugly face. F, 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 F. Yeah. It's like, okay. I just go in and I just delete the comments on Facebook. It's no big deal. Gerald, but they, I know that we, we, we have a uh, international audience, but when they cuss you out, it's in English or in a foreign language. Um, it's either in Tagalog or sometimes it's in Spanish. Sometimes it's in English. It's a mixture of all three, but mainly in Tagalog uh, as uh, Jokic scores there. I did actually, it was great to hear from somebody in Belize. And uh, I hope that, uh, their grand, I know they talked about their grandfather was watching the game who's very ill, so I'm hoping that their grandfather feels better and uh, the Lakers get a victory to, to make them feel better in Belize. Big shout out to Belize out there. Oh, that's, that's not a good shot. That's not a good offensive set. The Bronze played the entire first quarter. Do you agree with that, Laker Nick? I agree with it because it has us winning right now. <laughs> 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 well you we've seen this before oh nice all the way all the way oh that should be that should be a technical right there oh, okay all right just clean play all right thought it was thought he was gonna get up and start talking some smack but no it was just a yeah was was lebron upset there or was it just no uh, no. no didn't look like it i thought it was the way he got up but it was it was actually he tried to help him up it was, it was sportsmanship there Playoff foul, but uh, it was it was sportsmanship there and there. <clears throat> Blue Magic, Raphael, great to have you here on YouTube. It's Gerald Glassford along with Laker Nick. Uh, Joe, my, it looks like he's uh, checked out for a little bit. Uh, hopefully he'll return to us here at the Lakers Fast Break. Aussie, big shout out to you, my friend, Rough Artist Frank and Alan. Great to have you here. Doobie, who hates ham and wins the losses, was here earlier. Maybe he is actually on T Public making that shirt right now. We were talking about before you came on, Laker Nick. The one where he hates ham and wins and losses. <laughs> I think I'd buy one. I think he's, I told him to copyright it. Oh. Prince got bailed out on that one. Careful, D'Lo. 
make sure LeBron is looking. Oh, that would have been great. So the Lakers lead by eight at the end of the first quarter. Again, Nick, uh, a little bit different change. AD was the one who sat down before the end of the first quarter, and LeBron played through the end of the first quarter. Kind of yeah, Gerald. Now. Yeah, Gerald. I wonder if it's uh, like what you were saying, trying to stagger the minutes a little bit more to match up with uh, Nicola's. Um, I assume that's part of the game plan. Yep, uh, I guess so. I mean, that you know, they took him off the floor with Jokic still on the floor, so I was very surprised to see that, Nick. Uh, yeah, Frank asks out there, please in the chat if you can respond. Frank asks a question: If Lakers beat Nuggets in this series, what other team are you most concerned about facing? And I told Frank his team, the the Mavs. Uh, uh, Doobie says Boston. I don't know. I think I'm more concerned about the Mavs than Boston. I really think we match up better against Boston. I don't know why. I just maybe it's the fact that uh, we played them well for a little bit in Christmas, and then of course we destroyed them without LeBron and AD here earlier this year. And you're right, Alan. It all depends. If they're you know if Boston's shooting well, no one's going to beat them. But they are relying on the three pointers, so. They can shoot themselves out of a game just as quickly as they shoot themselves in, especially against a, a playoff-minded team. Do I think Hayes plays? I think Hayes will play. I, I think Hayes is going to get some minutes. Um, I don't think you will have a choice, Alan. I, I think the Lakers will only be able to get so far with what they have on an eight, eight uh, was it seven? They've only played seven so far, Nick. Yeah, Ger Gerald, what are your thoughts on uh, New York? I picked New York to win the series, Nick. Uh, I was surprised early on if, if Philadelphia dominating early on. They were they had as much of a, a double-digit lead. Um, you know, Joel Embiid shooting 8 for 22. He's got to cut down those threes. He's got to – again, it's the same thing with Joel Embiid as it is with AD. Take the three pointers out of your game, and instead of taking eight threes, take eight closer shots to the basket. Same thing with AD. Don't shoot three pointers unless you absolutely have to. Make sure you're available for a closer in shot. That that's just my perception on that. Because if if Embiid is shooting eight three pointers, you're winning because he's not going to make them. Yeah, Gerald, that sounds uh, that sounds about right. Um, and Joel, since uh, obviously he's been riddled with injuries throughout his career, um, I'm not sure. Let's just say I'm, I'm not sure how healthy he is right now. That's true. A good point. Uh, you know, you don't know how because he did get that late in the season. He kind of hurt his knee again. So you were wondering how good it's going to be for the rest of the series. Uh, but Knicks get the early win. The home team has won every game so far, which may bode well for the Lakers. The odds say the, the road team has got to win one of these four games. Mm -hmm. He hurt his knee again, Aussie. Oh, yeah. Embiid is. Yeah, that's if you don't have 100% Embiid, they're not going to go anywhere. Uh, Jackson Hayes, I think, and Gabe Vincent are coming into lineup now, according to what I see on the official box score. Yeah, they're in the game now. Okay, it just came on for us, and immediately we give up points. That's a good point, Frank. No LeBron on the floor. Got to win some of these minutes, or at least stay even. Nice. They're not going to call it D-Lo. Just get back on D. They'll call it if they can, if they if they want to. But yeah, they're going to let a lot of stuff this this stuff go. Oh, Vincent's on him. They're double. Oh, that was they're double teaming him. They're trapping him out there hard. Oh, oh, worked there. All right. 
Lakers going with the two seven footers. Pick and rolls. Why aren't you guys doing pick and rolls with AD or Hayes? Nice. But the you got it, Nick. No worries. Why wouldn't you just have just do run pick and rolls? Have one of them run hard to the basket. There you go. Go up for some lobs right now. Uh oh. Nice rebound. I know, Frank. <laughs> Not the Twin Towers per se, but oh, that was just dumb. That was just dumb, Gabe. You can't give away a foul on that. You're going to get yourself in foul trouble guarding Murray. And another foul. It's so uneven. This uh, it is these fouls are this these these refs are just calling things so uneven right now. What's a foul? Not a foul. They're trapping him hard. And immediately Jackson Hayes has two fouls. If I was Darvin Ham, I would get on Jackson Hayes. You, you foul DeAndre Jordan, of all people. Yeah, I see the trap has been aggressive. I like it, but you got yourself in foul trouble already with Hayes. <sighs> Remember when Torian Prince was Mr. Foul and he was fouling all the time early in the season? That's not what you want, Prince. You got to get to AD. When AD has DeAndre Jordan on him, get it to AD. It is not that hard. It's not brain surgery. No, the problem is that's what happened when you break the trap. Oh, did he hurt himself again? Here we go again. I agree, Alan. Every single time you take it to AD. No more Torian Prince shooting when AD is has DeAndre Jordan. That's what I was talking about. Can they win the minutes with Joker off the floor? Uh-oh. 
That, that's not good. Aussie's ahead of me. He's going to get a three. Dang it. Get it to AD. Good shot. You've paused. Oh, that's weird. We're still going here, Aussie. Uh, Torian Prince just scored. Can we guard the three pointers? Please. Oh, okay, Aussie. That's what you do every time. Right there. It's not rocket science, Aussie. It's not rocket science. You just go for the best matchup. Oh, D'Lo, stay with your man. Oh, you got lucky there. All day. All day. All day. I know, Frank. I know. But you got to have a coach that recognizes that. going on on youtube robert what's up yes absolutely tommy great to have you here they are playing pretty good so far yeah he did get hurt uh, i just read up the news on that thank you robert yeah uh he did get yeah joel did get hurt so but uh let's see what his status is for the rest of the rest of the series Ruiz on, oh, and another dumb foul. Man. Got a good Dinwiddie on him now. Oh, they're trapping. Lakers got to get that offensive board. Got to get can't let the can't let Denver get those boards. Lakers are fouling a lot though. At least it's not AD or LeBron getting the fouls. <clears throat> You're right, I'll see he is. <clears throat> Thank you. 
So they pretty much played even uh, with Jokic uh, off the floor. So I don't know. You take it as it is, but Lakers still have the lead. Nice pass. Oh, million dollar move, five cent finish. Is that Gordon? Oh, Jokic. Okay. Gordon has two. Jokic has one. Uh, KCP has one. Uh, Watson and Jordan have two each for the Denver Nuggets. And Reggie Jackson has one as well. Yeah, I thought that was Gordon. Yeah, absolutely, Alan. You can't miss those bunnies. You cannot miss those easy shots. The Lakers have a nasty habit of missing a, a ton of those easy. They get a lot of opportunities at the basket, but they, they man, they just, you got to finish. And Gerald, all, all things considered, uh, just speaking for myself, I do think that this game has gone as good as I probably hoped for. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, I just wish during those non-Jokic minutes, the Lakers would have taken advantage and gotten the lead to 12 or 14. But uh, outside of that, uh, I agree with you. I think it's, you know, anytime you got eight, uh, you're up eight in the second quarter on the Nuggets, uh, you know, and you don't have uh, AD or LeBron in foul trouble, so that that's a good thing. So AD only has one, and LeBron doesn't have any. So, and and, and uh, Gerald uh, Denver has been cold from the three point line. Yes, four four for sixteen uh, from the three point line. Um, the Lakers obviously aren't too hot as well. They're three for ten. Um, I'm hoping D'Angelo is able to get some range from there. He's zero for three from three uh, at this moment. Yeah. I agree. Uh, Edwards, I can tell you what Edwards did. Uh, I agree, Nick. Uh, although D'Angelo it ha does have two fouls, just to let everybody know right now. Uh, Edwards went for 33 today. 33, 9, and 6. Uh, Gerald, I actually, uh, sorry if you already mentioned this. Uh, you probably have. Uh, Gabe Vincent with three fouls? Uh, Gabe has two, three fouls. Yes, three fouls. Three fouls in five minutes. Wow. <laughs> well, you do have another player that plays like him in Dinwiddie. That he plays aggressive on defense, Nick. Uh, and then you know, I don't know. It's a crapshoot on offense for for either of those guys. So, yeah, he's Gerald. playing hard, but got to play smart. Gerald, what's the situation with uh, with Reddish? Uh, Reddish is still out. He is he was listed out for the game. Uh, it is still his ankle issue, I believe. The issue with Reddish is he's rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, all the way. And AD isn't. But yes, their trapping is... in this game has been brilliant. By the way, absolutely brilliant. Oh yes, go go go! Oh yes. Man, LeBron is still fast. Wow. <laughs> Reggie had the angle on him, and he was still slow. <laughs> Damn. Smaller player. 
ten less years, and he still beat him. Chew that, Aussie. Yep. It's the forty-year-old man, Gerald. Uh, year twenty-one. Uh, incredible. Um, with the traps, Joe, can you say? And Nick, I want you to weigh in as well. Can you say that's uh, Ham designing a something that maybe Malone hadn't yet seen before from the Lakers? Mm -hmm. uh, Gerald, I think it's uh, it might be LeBron designing it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm just wondering if it, if we're ever going to give Ham any credit at all. I, I feel like uh, to see he's been I fine the last month and a half, guys. You can't deny it. Yeah. He hasn't screwed anything up, and right now his team is playing phenomenal basketball so you have to start giving them credit now i think the traps are his idea and i i i think that's you you have to give him credit for it yeah yeah i, I would say that ham has uh, you know has shaped up over the last month and a half as joe says if there's any critique against ham is that i mean <laughs> he, he's probably played spencer a little bit too much but hey he hasn't convinced doobie yet but alan Alan, uh, you know, when Alan probably it took uh, I'm Alan, I'm sure it took a lot for you to type that in there. <laughs> You're like, I guess I gotta say it, I guess I gotta say it. Uh, yes, uh, when Doobie starts saying it, uh, I think we'll all be convinced then. It is what it is. Uh, but I, I think, I think right now, like you said, Joe, uh, initially. The, the traps were a nice new look that they've not shown Denver before. And uh, the Lakers are playing hard a defense and uh, it's showing right now. I think they do have Denver a little rattled. Yeah, rust is, a, but Robert, they've been used to this before as far as having a week off and or having time off. So they should be, able to understand how to play through the rust uh but <clears throat> sometimes that takes a half to uh kick in and hopefully the lakers will be far enough up front before the nuggets find whatever gear that they need yeah if they i agree with you alan but how many teams play that hard on defense during the nba season No, no, I uh, see. I agree. They were their bodies wouldn't. Yeah, they just. I don't know how I, you know, we saw the Knicks earlier tonight. I have no idea how those guys are still standing at sometimes the way Tibbs just runs them to the ground. And as soon as we say that, LeBron misses the assignment and, and gives MPJ a jumper there. Oh, and a foul there. LeBron mistakes back to back. I'm biased there, uh, Gerald, obviously, but like, I mean, I think LeBron was just setting the screen there. There was nothing malintentioned about that. Yeah, but I don't think he argued it at all. So I think he even knew that it was a, it was an offensive foul. Nice defense by Dinwiddie. Oh, AD, what was that? What was what was Austin Reeves doing on Jokic there? <laughs> I think maybe because uh, Jokic was coming down in transition.
Time out, Ham. Yeah, Joe, we're, we're bleeding a little bit. <sighs> Careless. All that, all those, all those good plans go away in, in literally less than a minute. That, is it Jokic that loves to kick the balls? He he loves he loves kick balls. He loves to stick his leg out on passes. Yeah, we'll see, Robert. Uh, I mean, you know Tibbs. He's going to play his guys 40 to 45 minutes, uh, which is just absolutely crazy. AD's already played 18 minutes. LeBron James, 15 minutes. AD is, leads the entire both teams in minutes right now. I'm not sure that's a good thing, but so far he has 16 points, four rebounds, block shot. Yeah, I think you're right, Frank. I think that's a, that's a trick of his. I think they got to do something about that. Got to start hitting some shots. Let's go. Man, that's three mistakes in a row for LeBron. Oh, that was traveling right there. Oh, nice, D'Lo. Oh, man. That fake ruined his rhythm. Watch the push. Man. Stop this run, please. I see. I have rarely seen them call that, Frank. Nice. And a foul. Should be and one. No, don't play off of him. That's what I said. You cannot give offensive boards up. Oh, okay. Not yeah, Frank. Yeah, that's if they interacted that, that would be a great way to do it. Oh no. Lakers have got to go and run here. Come on. Regroup. Let's regroup here. Boards are killing us. Absolutely killing us. Why are you leaving Murray wide open like that? And he hurt himself too. Nice. That's not good.
Oh, right there. Got to make that D-Lo. Nice, D-Lo. Nice. All right, settle down. Let's get a couple good shots before the end of the half. We need LeBron driving to the basket. Just like that. Just like that. Don't give up a three. Don't give up a three. Let's go at the half with the lead, Gerald, please. Would be nice. Please, please. Oh. Yeah! There we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Good half, Gerald. <laughs> we got the lead. I could have been better, but you know, we'll take the three-point lead. I, I feel like uh, the the last uh, couple minutes gave me uh, some gray hairs. <laughs> uh, good thing I've got them already. But yeah, that giving up that. They they held off that run, which has got to – yeah, I know I don't like the last five minutes, but you know they're going to go on a run. That rebounding is killing us right now, and I mentioned this in the pregame. The giving up so many offensive boards, you know the Lakers are one of the worst to do it, Nick, uh, in the league to do it all season, and that had to change. It hasn't so far, and I think that's what's hurting us right now, Nick, is those offensive boards. That's what's keeping Denver in the game. Yeah, I, I mean, and, and and what's the answer for that, Gerald? Uh, we know that Hayes is, is deficient on that side. Like, uh, what, what do we do? Uh, Frank said, Wood, if Christian Wood was here, probably provide a little bit better rebounding. No, I, so I thought he didn't provide you guys enough rebounding when he was on Dallas. Um, I just think, you know, it's hard because the Lakers – you notice the Lakers in that run, they also stopped trapping. The, they went to a straight up, more conventional style defense. And uh, when they got away from what got them that double digit lead in the first place. I could understand them giving up um, offensive rebounds if they're trapping. But they stopped trapping in that last uh, last bit when they were on the when they were going on the run. They played a more a man up type type defense, Nick, and I think that's what got uh, Denver back into the game. You got to throw you got to throw lo different looks at Denver, otherwise they're going to kill you. Uh, Doobie, you're right. We got to get better production from Russell and Reeves. Russell is 4 11, 0 for 5. Combined, they're 0 of 7 from 3. You know what? And if if that's the case, they're 0 of 7 from 3, and the Lakers are still up 3, I think you got to consider that a, a plus right now. Yeah, I know, Robert, but they stopped doubling in that last five minutes. They they got away from that uh, the trapping defense in the last five minutes. Even if it wasn't going to Jokic, they got away from it. They were playing sort of man up, straight up. And uh, if that's the case, you got to rebound a lot better than that if they're missing. Uh, Gerald, to, to state the obvious, uh, LeBron, LeBron came to play tonight. Uh, you know, he's at 19 points. Um, 
seven at, for 10 out of the field, three for three from three. Um, you know, he's hit his free throws, five assists. I mean, we can't ask much more from LeBron so far. Yeah, those guys have gotten done, and and AD's playing a, played a ton of minutes. He's got like 20 minutes, I think, so far. Is that right? 22, and LeBron has 20. So they're on pace to play around 40 minutes. <laughs> 44 and 44, respectively. Yeah. 40 and 44. <clears throat> you know what, Frank? It is. You see it, you've seen it, Frank, yourself, even as a Dallas Mavericks fan. You see when LeBron plays with a lot of energy in the first half, things are looking great. At 40, though, you know, it gets a little bit less effectiveness in the third. And then fourth, we saw in Tuesday, you know, how much he was losing it in the tank. He was there wasn't much left in the tank, Nick, on Tuesday. And you saw in that fourth quarter what happened. But uh if the Lakers can hold them off, if they can get back up a lead at double digits by the fourth quarter, you never know. The Lakers are one of the best teams with a lead at the half. I'll leave it at that. Yeah, G Gerald, I um I take solace in that the Lakers um uh, had a few days off, right? And the trip uh, from LA to Denver isn't a super long one. So uh, I'm trying to like find comfort in that. <laughs> trying to look for the pauses. I hear you, my friend. Yeah, they got to get this game. I think it's very important, Robert, that they get this game. Uh, I said it before in the pregame. I thought this was the game that they had to take. Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, if they don't get it and they win game two, or they could still win game two, but they have to leave with a split at the very least from Denver. I think that that will put some doubt in the minds of Denver. At least get, at least would they wouldn't be so cocky and confident, I think. I agree, Aussie. Whew, but the Lakers again lead by three at the half, sixty to fifty-seven. Man, we got to get better production from the outside from Russell and Reeves. Torian Prince is also 0 for 2. So right now, Rui and LeBron are 4 for 4, and D'Angelo, Austin, and Tor Torian Prince are 0 for 9 from the outside. Hey, we got the lead. We're up by three. The Lakers have a really good record at the half when they're up. So uh, I'm going to take some solace in that. I wish the lead was larger because you saw the kind of run that the Denver Nuggets can go on. And the Lakers get a little sloppy. But uh, again, I'll take what I can get right now with the Lakers up by three at the half. And Gerald, uh, the Joker's been limited he, uh, in the passing game. He's only with two assists. That's good. That's absolutely good when uh, they're not able to execute well off of his passing. Because you know there, there's going to be a time that that he is going to be very effective. Although Jamal Murray has seven assists, though, in his place. I mean, Jamal Murray has not shot the ball well at all, but he's been able to get the assists out there. Caldwell Pope is 0 for 4, 0 for 3 from behind the arc. Uh, Michael Porter is 5 of 10 but he's only one of four behind the arc. So yeah, if we can, if they can sh keep continue the 26% shooting behind the arc and we limit the number of offensive rebounds for them, uh, you know, it could, you never know, could pull off the upset here in the first game.
Uh, Nick, just as an FYI, I do not know if I have Joe or John on the post game. I think John said he would be a no. I will confirm that. And Joe, I don't think, I don't know about Joe's status because he's been popping in and out. So he had told me he was not going to be available, but uh, that may be subject to change. Robert's asking me, do you think the Lakers have to win either game one or game two in order? Yeah. Oh, absolutely, Robert. I think they have to leave Denver with at least a split. If they do not, it's so much easier for the Nuggets because they just have to split one in LA. That's all they have to do. I just, well, they don't even have to do that technically, but yeah, I just, I just think it is key for the LA Lakers because right now Denver has their number, but when you win it so many times consecutively over a team, you just feel so confident against them. If the Lakers can go ahead and pull off the win today, I just think that changes everything from a mindset perspective. Oh, absolutely, Alan. You know me on that ball and man movement. You know, we, we, they're going to tell you, oh, it's the playoffs, more isolated, ISO, ISO. You know, you can say all that you want, Alan, but I agree with you. It should always be about ball and man movement because it makes for easier shots when you do. Uh, Shintan, uh, yeah. I'm not going to say, uh, you know, winning two at home, that would be tough. Yeah, you're right. With the, with Denver winning, asking to win uh, on, you know, Denver two in a row, period, is going to be tough. He might have to play the whole second half. We'll see. I, I, AD and LeBron, if you can find any kind of rest for them. <sighs> resting myself a little bit before we get back to the uh, game here. 60 to 57 Lakers lead. Let me go ahead and grab another water. I'll be your BRB.
Take a look at my old pictures. No. No, I didn't have the freckles. What's up, cool bro? Man, don't give them those good looks. Yes, nice shot. Thank you, Aussie. Makes me feel better when you say it like that. What's up, cool bro? Hopefully you're doing a little bit better, my friend. Yeah, shout out to cool bro. I heard about your lost condolences, uh, cool bro. Nice. Uh, Pause it again, Aussie. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on, Dilo, sloppy. You cannot. Okay, that's okay. Good play by LeBron. Come on. I know, I'll see you right. Got to be the man now, cool bro. You'll get it. You'll be okay. You'll be okay. Yes, we'll take that. Come on, let's build a lead. Let's go on a run here. For the Lakers, of course.
Nice. Good D. Good D by Austin. Nice pass. Oh, I got to make that shot, D'Lo. Got beaten transition there. <clears throat> you got to execute, D'Lo. Those are easy, too easy. I know, cool bro. I know it is hard. Absolutely. Uh, but you know, she would want you to go ahead and try to live the best life you can. My friend, she only, she, she cared for you and would want the best for you. Oh, that's not good. Just, just let everybody know I'm going to close out the poll in like the next minute. So get your votes in. How are you feeling? <laughs> I'm feeling nervous, Nick, as we have a tie score. Okay. Uh, what's up, Jarvis? Uh, Craving Minions, what's going on? Yeah, I know, Robert. Same here. I mean, I, I know that Doobie was, uh, I believe it was Doobie was arguing with me earlier about how it should be for pride and not for money, but. Uh, I think a lot is on the line for D'Lo. I think a lot of money is on the line for D'Lo. You know, is he just a regular season player? What's up, Juan? It is ours, Juan, but we have to make sure we execute. LeBron's coaching now. Well, cool, bro. I don't think you should be worried about how many views on that. It's the fact and thought that you did something for your grandma and you honored her that will last as long as YouTube will allow it. Uh, I think that was more important and you you know if you share it with the family the family can always take a you know time to look at it if they want that's good see that's what's most important cool bro Just think of all the good memories between you and your grandma and don't think about how the angels suck. And I told you so. <laughs> Sorry, cool bro. I had to say that. Just think about the good memories with you and your grandma. Yeah, well, I'm an Angels fan too, cool bro. And you see how much that does for me right now. Angels are under 500, cool bro. So I don't think they're winning anything anytime soon. All right, let's go here. All the way, all the way. Yes. Boy, they got to get back to that, guys. I, what do you think, Nick? They got to get back to that style where where LeBron was getting the, uh, you know, everybody who was guarding him into foul trouble. Yeah, Gerald. I mean, they uh, they should be playing like they played in like the first like eight minutes or so of the first quarter. Um, but you know, we know that the Nuggets are going to try to fight back and claw back. Um, 
and basketball is a game of runs. I'm just hoping that the Lakers are able to stop the bleeding whenever it starts uh, happening. Agreed. And thank Gerald, you, the, re the results of the poll are in. Well, thank you, you for doing it tied. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, there's 162 games, cool, bro, but it's not, you're right. It is, it is a long season for baseball. I told you that last week. Nice. But now, thank you, Nick, for doing the poll. Truly appreciate that. Ah, that's too far out. Come on, better shots than that. Got to make him put it on the floor. All right, come on. Let's get it back together. Uh. Time out. Time out, Ham. You got to finish that shot, guys. Come on. These are layups, these are gimmies. Boy, when you have AD pulled out of the key there, Nick, it's it's not a good sign if he can't come over and help. I know, Aussie. You got to execute. You got to hit those layups. All right, let's all right. Let's get the lead back. Come on, let's get a stop here. Gerald, statistically, you, you'd think that Dilo is going to hit a few threes uh, here in the second half. So hopefully that's true. Hopefully he'll go on a heater, Nick. Hope you're right. Man, they're just, they're calling fouls again. Anybody who's trying to trail Murray, they're calling fouls on. But I think you're right. You're exactly right. We do need to get a heater from D'Angelo. We haven't got one yet. God, does that guy ever miss? I know, but man, miss for God's sakes. Nice. We'll take it. Yeah, that's on you, Jokic. Don't complain. That's on you. That's how you make a layup. I hope so. I mean, I hope it won't come down. To, I hope the Lakers will reestablish the lead by then, Robert. But we'll see. Ah, I had the same reaction as you, Gerald. <laughs> I don't know, an Nick. An exasperated sigh. Tell me about it. You can't leave points on the table. Of course they it's... get the roll. And Peyton Watson hits three threes. D'Angelo, nothing, but he hits three threes. Aussie, I would. At some point, you're going to have to. That's not what you should be doing. You know how I feel about AD and threes. This is how you get yourself out of the game. Timeout, Ham. Call a timeout. 
please call a timeout. Regroup your team. You're about ready to lose touch uh, to Denver. Come on, they're already up four. Not if he shoots like that. I, I can't tell you that FL24 with a straight face. Lakers, uh, Lakers should have called a timeout already. Regroup. Yeah, Gerald. I mean, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, Gerald. Ah. This is going to be a crucial point in the game right here. This is the game right here. How close the Lakers stay at the end of this quarter. Yeah, if they stay within five, I'm I'm encouraged. But, you know, if they pull too much further from that, let's just say I'll, I'll be nervous. Should have called a timeout sooner. Oh, no. Wide open no, threes. No. Too many wide open threes. What's up with this defense? Oh my goodness. Come on. No. Ah. G Gerald, and you know, like to Joe's point earlier, he was saying that Ham hadn't messed up in the last month and a half. He is messing up right now. I agree. I absolutely agree. Okay, you do that, cool bro. Good luck with that. What the hell happened is simple. The Lakers stopped playing defense. They they looked out mat overmatched and whatever whatever they were doing right in the first half they just stopped doing the trapping you that's all gone all those traps that they were doing that's all gone all the help defense that's all gone yeah it's it's not good they're giving them open looks whether it's inside or out it, it, absolutely Aussie when you're shooting logo threes D -lo going inside not hitting layups. Torian Prince, what the hell, Torian Prince? You got one drive early in the game, that's great, but make sure if you got AD inside, get the ball to him. Uh, okay, cool, bro. Alan, you know, we've talked about this a lot with this team where they just, they do not enjoy ball movement, ball or man movement. And I just get so irritated by that. It's like a broken record. They just do not want, they just ISO, ISO, ISO. And now they're down nine. Oh, so frustrating. Yeah, they look tired. Absolutely. Uh, that's the problem. We were worried about them running out of gas and that's what they're doing right now. The bench has been horrible again, giving us nothing, or next to nothing, I'm sorry. Six points from Torian Prince. Yeah. Uh, Austin Reeves, seven points. D'Angelo Russell, five of 15. Rui has only gotten a seven points. It's not going to get it done, guys. Not going to get it done. I know Rui's only had three shots instead of Torian taking these shots or yeah. Yeah. Just 
you got to get Rui more better better opportunities. Those layups early on, those layups missed by D'Lo, layups missed early on, they come back to haunt you. Missing free throws. I'll just keep rooming around, cool, bro. What do I tell you guys? He should not be shooting threes. You're playing right into Denver's hands. Well, he's won two titles. It, it, uh, Gerald, what the hell? It's total collapse, Nick. A total collapse. This, this can't. Is the three third quarter woes like back to Hannah's or what? Yeah. From like last season, absolutely. Oh my gosh. Ah. Gerald, I feel like it's been like since the second quarter since I've seen the Lakers score. It's bad. They need to go inside. They need to create and manufacture points. Get to the line. They're just checking oh. out threes. Finally made one. Yeah, finally. Wow. Oh. Yeah, this LeBron on Jokic thing is not working out. Also, oh, like they're adding point seven. They got outscored 32 to 18, guys, in that third quarter. Uh, Gerald, just one, one quick thing about KCP. I know that we mourn the departures of uh, people like Caruso and Kuzma, but I feel like we never mourn as much as we should the, the void that KCP left on uh, this Lakers team. Obviously, you're seeing it right there. 
You're seeing it right there, Nick. The example when you have it's just he he's just a winner now. He's you know he has found whatever it is that that you can to put himself in a position where he does the winning things that you need. I hope so, Aussie. I hope we go on our own 13-0 run. Another fine Rob Palenka move about letting him go. Speaking of another fine Rob Palenka move, Nick, uh, you notice how well Triple J did in Miami yesterday? Yeah, was it like 21 points, right? I think six assists. Yep. Yeah, no, he 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 did fantastic. Uh, sometimes uh, FL twenty four in our living room, but uh, yeah, I'm I'm in my office here for you guys. But yeah, um, Nick, you know, I know I had it back. Yeah, I, I know I cc'd you on when Rodell earlier this week was, uh, you know, saying that uh, Ham would not have been able to find or any time for uh, Cam Whitmore or Triple J or Podziemski. So they would be stuck on the pinch like we see Maxwell Lewis and, and uh, of course, JHS before he got hurt. Uh, I, I told him what I thought of that, that concept, and I thought it was absolutely ridiculous uh, that if players with talent, NBA-level talent, will find their way to the floor no matter how reluctant coaches are to play rookies. And, uh, you know, we see right there what happens. Triple J is a, a integral part of, of Miami now going forward. And, you know, we see what happened in Golden State. And it's just a shame that you know, Rob could not recognize that. Wouldn't it be nice to have another rotation player right now like Triple J coming into the lineup maybe to help stem the tide a little bit? Absolutely, Gerald. I mean, to use an analogy, uh, what do they say, Gerald? Cream rises to the top, right? Yep. So, I, I so talent itself, uh, to your point, Gerald, would have find found its way uh, to be known uh, in some form or fashion throughout the course of the season. Rough artist, I'll take any comeback right now. Any comeback right now from the Lakers. Just get on a run. Yeah, he tried to buy time without Hayes out there uh, and put LeBron on the last minute, two minutes, without AD in the lineup and, and LeBron on, on Jokic. And yeah, that, that did not work out so well. Yeah, I fell 24. Uh, it's going to have to be me because I'm not sure Joe will be available. So um, I'm not sure about any nightcap either. So I'm going to have to rant. I don't know who's going to be available for the post game. Everybody told me that they're uh, busy doing something. So Nick, I'm going to have to plead for your attention here on the post game, my friend. But I know you got I know you got work to do always, my friend. So. No, yeah, I, I will. I will certainly try, uh, Gerald. My best. Uh, one one thing that I was one thing that I was going to mention was uh, where where's Doobie right now? <laughs> uh, Doobie left early on in the fourth in the first quarter, I think. But yeah, he's, oh, I, I think he's spectating still. Oh, he is. Okay, he's probably hitting something. Right, he probably hit his TV yeah. already. He probably he's probably said some type of uh, expletive ham expletive ham for the past twenty minutes. Okay, there you go. Get that ball. Give him a T. Throw him out. Throw him out. Two T's right there. Uh, <laughs> cool, bro. <laughs> I got you on the fourth, man. I told you you could you'll stop by the cosmos on the fourth. That's just bad. Come on, hey, Austin. You were playing much better defense on him before. You can't trade baskets.
Don't, you don't want to debate Joe Cool, bro. You really don't. Uh, you really don't. Cool Bro's been wanting to get into it with uh, Joe Gerald. <laughs> I don't want to do that to the poor kid. Why is AD shooting more threes? Stop it, man. Good God. Oh, there's Doobie. Nick, you ask, and Doobie is here. Hey, Doobie, what's up? There we go. So D'Lo made that three, Gerald, but I guess to, to your continued pleadings, right? Like, why aren't the Lakers playing more inside? I don't know. They just get away. They forget that AD, you know, he exists on the team, except for if he's shooting threes. They they post about their they put him outside, Nick. I just don't understand the logic with starting uh, as he gave up the three right there. And I just don't understand the logic, Nick. I, I really don't. Uh, of putting of keeping AD out there, uh, you know, behind the three-point line. I just don't understand the logic. Oh, then again, you saw what happened to the post up right there. Too far what out. What the hell is going on? Again, I, just like I said earlier, they've got to take a step in. Oh, my gosh. Uh, cool, bro. I, I do not share that same confidence. I'm just reading your email now, Nick. Oh, that was the same one you sent earlier. Yeah, yeah it was. A, it was the same link to that to that thing. I, I was hoping that that image would motivate the Lakers. It did the exact opposite. What a collapse! Gerald, what makes this frustrating, right, is that the collapse was not a not a sudden one, right? Because because you kept on exclaiming that the Lakers should take a timeout, and Ham was not taking a timeout. No, no. But the thing is, Schwags, he did play the entire quarter. I would have. I don't know why they got away from his normal routine because you know, up until this point, Nick, they had always taken LeBron out first. And then AD, they got away from that rotation uh, schedule uh, for this game. I don't know why. Uh, I don't know what, what constituted the change. Maybe it's something LeBron said. I don't know, Nick, but I, I just. Well, 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 to be fair with to him on that point, Gerald, uh, the change worked, right? Like in the first yeah. half. That's but true. Then it, but then it was in the third towards the end of middle uh, uh end of the third quarter where things just started falling apart and it unraveled and, and you kept telling the chat and and the live feed that ham should be taking a timeout and ham was ham, ham was just not doing it and and they and he just let uh the denver Nuggets get get momentum I mean, Gerald, uh, there, there's still time left. I mean, like, I don't want to, like, uh, you know, disseminate false hope, but there is still time left. I mean, who knows? Who knows, indeed. Yeah, Jarvis, uh, not having a real backup center is, is a problem. Uh, 
but the the Lakers need to execute. Uh, we talked about it, Nick, uh, and I talked about it on the yesterday and today about how the other the other guys on the starting lineup they have to produce, and and they're not getting it done, Nick. You know, seven points for Rui, six of eighteen for D'Angelo, seven points for Austin. That that's not going to get it done. Murray is back to his old self. You had time when Murray was uh, was uh, his shooting was off in that first half. You had time to do something really good. And... Uh, uh, Gerald, but uh, the main issue, and to state the obvious, right? But like the main issue is that the Lakers got away from their defense because, you know, D'Lo ha hasn't had a great offensive game, uh, and they were still ahead. Yeah. They were. The, the, fa the fact is that they were playing good defense, and that's what was keeping the Lakers uh, in the lead. They were trapping Nick, and until about five minutes left in that second quarter, and they stopped doing it. They started playing man for man, and they went on that run to tie the game at that point in time. And the Lakers got that three pointer from LeBron, but still, yeah, it. Ever since they got away from the trap, it, it's not been the same game since. Yeah, Frank, it's. I think it's about time for some LeBron hero ball, especially if AD's... AD should not be... You should not have AD out at the top of the key or behind the behind the three point line unless you're going to run a pick and pick and roll or some type of action you just have them out there sitting out there waiting to shoot threes that is the absolute dumbest move you can make Yeah, we did get a stop, Aussie. Now we need to get some points out of it. Uh -huh. so, so frustrating. You're right, Aussie. No Jokic. They've got to they've got to go ahead and get some points. Yes, he has got no lift. He is gassing out. But you can see it, Aussie. When he's got no lift on his shots, and they're all coming up short from the even from that range. Um. Actually, I did see a post from him earlier this week. Uh, I think he uh, has a young lady in his life, if I'm not mistaken. So, um, he, you know, I know his weight loss was doing good. I, I, no, I haven't seen him too much on his YouTube channel. Um, I'll reach out to him this week. I hope he's doing well. He, I think from what I saw, he's doing well, especially if he's uh, got a new lady in his life. So, Cool, bro. He, he, there was a life there was a lakers fast break pre cool bro and uh john mccallion was part of it he and joe used to get into it all uh a lot but he was really he's a really nice guy has his own youtube channel oh man open three again yes there was a pre cool bro era Torian, what are you doing? Oh, Torian. Yeah. Gerald, you saw McKaylin's post on YouTube or, or where? No, or what uh, Facebook. I think Facebook. No, he had a, was it a short? 
I think it was either short on Facebook or YouTube that had him and I think uh, he had a, a young lady. Uh, I guess uh, he, he was. Uh, I guess they were announcing their their uh, coupleship. They have a their their couple. So I was I was happy for him. I really was happy for him. So so I know he's gone through a lot uh, in his life recently and lost a lot of weight. Uh, so I'm really really super happy for him. If that's the case. Yes, absolutely cool, bro. He's a nice guy. Him and Joe used to get into it. Uh, part of it was, half of it was real. Half of it was just them trying to egg each other on. Uh, but, you know, they actually got, at the, at the last time they were talking to each other, uh, they actually were getting along pretty well. Cool, bro. Go through the archives. You could see it. Yes. <laughs> Gerald, you met, you met uh, McKaylian in the, on, in the forums as well? No. Uh, no, he was just somebody that started following us when I was reaching out to people who were talking about the Lakers, and I believe he was, and uh, we connected through email, and then uh, he came on the show every now and then, uh, you know, and uh, he was a Lakers fan that wanted to talk on the air, and uh, yeah, just uh, appreciate it. He's a really nice guy. I wish I would have met him. He, I had the opportunity to, to meet him in person again um, when I was at Universal Studios last year, and i I should have taken the opportunity to do so. I really feel bad about that. Same thing with Henry, man. I keep like, and Jamie last time. It's like I get down there in LA and I'm focused on doing one thing. And it's like, hey, I'm just 20 minutes away. Want to come on by? I'm like, oh. So that's why I'm going to make up for it. I think I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, the missus said I could come down for a weekend to Cali and and uh, see you guys and uh, talk some talk some Lakers fast break. So. You cool, bro. You're 15. My God, man. Enjoy your enjoy your teenage before you have to worry about getting involved in relationships. All that. Enjoy being single, my man. If you're a good person, you do good things. You'll find someone in your life. They'll want to hang out with you. Then you get married. Then you have kids, and then. You know, there you go. Then you'll be back to where you were. Man, ah, I wish I was 15 and single again. Yeah, yeah. You'll be saying that at some point in time in your life. I know you will. Yeah, Jarvis, nice run. Let's keep it going. Uh, I need. We need to see a couple shots from D'Lo. Austin, need to start seeing some of this. Where is the where is him? I don't see him yet. Yeah, okay. Cool bro. If you want to stay married, I uh, maybe you get away with Cooper, but I don't think unless she's a Star Wars fan like you that you're going to be able to name your kid Obi-Wan. Maybe you can name the dog Obi-Wan. I agree, Aussie. Blitz Murray. Again, that's too easy. Stop making it easy for him. That's all you have to do. Yeah, he pushed off, but yeah, that's all you have to do. Come on, let's another run. Let's get another run. Yeah, no, I'll see you right. They push off. They both push off. That's what you need to do. Force them into a tough shot. That's a terrible shot by Murray. Keep it up. Ha! Huh. Nick! Who wonder who it was that said AD should take more shots inside? <laughs> hmm. Initials double G. I think so. Of course, Joe would never give me any credit, but that's okay. Oh, you got to get the boards, man. You got to get the boards, man.
That's a foul. You know that's a foul. That is a foul, and you know that's a foul. Yeah, cool, bro, but we can't trade baskets. We have to start getting some stops. And like Aussie says, we got to get the rebounds. There's only five minutes left. Hey, Nick, I ask you this. Do you think you would call a timeout just to give the Lakers a little bit another blow? Um, yeah, I mean, why not get, give it, give them like uh, another breather, another, you only you have know. two left, but I think I I would probably do it now just to give them an extra, extra minutes. Yeah. Just to like, let, let the, let the motion settle a bit and, and gather themselves as best they can in the last stretch. Yeah. Cause he's huffing and puffing. If you can see him out there, that's why he missed that first one. I would actually, I, I'm, I'm think I would do it. I would have done it right when he's taking free throws, just to see if I could get him some more rest. You know that doesn't that only leaves you with one. But what are you going to do? I would rather do it now. What are you going to do if he's hitting threes on you? What are you going to do? Yes, and one. They they play, I don't want to say they play dirty, Frank, but they know what to do. They know what they can get away with. I I mean, if, we, if it was like, Frank, if he was playing for your team or my team, we would love it that they're getting away with that. So what are you going to do? I mean, they're not going to call it. Jokic is smart. He knows exactly what, like with the kicking rule we were talking about, he knows exactly what, what he can and cannot get away with. Come on, D'Lo. Okay, enough for the talking trash, D'Lo. Let's get you some baskets. Help him out. Help him out. Oh, nice block. Why why do people say JJ is better than Cup? Uh when Cup has a Super Bowl win and triple crown? Uh, I just remember you were arguing over Jerry Rice. You thought wasn't as good as Cooper cup. And I, I think that same logic applies. Uh, I mean, Jerry Rice statistically is the greatest wide receiver of all time. Cooper cup. You know, if you look at it, isn't even in a zip code. It, Cooper cup has to continue playing at that level. Cool bro for another five, seven years before you can start calling him one of the greatest all time. No, you, cool, bro. You said before Rice wasn't better than Cup. You said that. I know you said that. I remember that argument. I forget a lot of things, cool, bro, but I remember that argument. I remember I had to go look in all time touchdowns at the all time touchdowns and, and prove you wrong. Oh, you mean Cup is better? No, Cup is not better than Rice. Cup has half the number of touchdowns Rice does. Cup has to play at a level like he's been playing for another five to seven years before he gets that conversation. All right, let's get some stops. Back to the game. Oh, no. No, no, no. Okay, good, good. Get that rebound. Get that board. Yes. Good stop. Let's go. Come on. Let's get a couple threes here. Pick and roll with AD. Ah! 
too much hero ball. LeBron is mad because he was in the corner. Get that stop. Oh, man, he does it even when he catches it bad. Man. I don't think it's a sweet bossy. I think we get at least one in the uh, in the crypt. What does that have to do with anything, cool bro? Come on, look at the stats. It's not even close. I know Jarvis. Bad bad play by LeBron. I'm not a fine. I'm not a Niners fan either. I, I do like the quarterback for the Niners, but that's only because I like the story as far as him being, you know, Mister Irrelevant and being a uh, a star quarterback. But I'm not a Niners fan per se. But come on, you can't argue with the numbers, school bro. Who cares about stats? Well, that's why they're stats because they prove just how good you are. I like the stat of the Lakers, 17 world championships. I think that's a great stat. <sighs> Alan, they just, it's hard. They just don't have enough. They need, they need the other guys to produce and they're just not doing it. See why couldn't get they why couldn't they get stops like that in the third quarter? Oh, Russell Russell's got it. Don't give up on the play, Torian. Why did you give up on the play? Torian was completely manhandled there. Yeah, but he just stopped and, and he could have gotten the rebound or knocked the ball out of his hands. Yeah, it was embarrassing. Why is he even out there? Put Rui back in. Tell Henry Delo got one more chance. Uh, between him and uh, John Costa, who is the president of the D'Angelo Russell fan club. He did, Frank. He just gave up because he was gave a concession basket and then the guy missed. And Get Rui in there, please. They had a golden chance to take, uh, they had a golden opportunity to take this game and they blew it. What happened? Oh. Oh, that's what happened. Nice. The too little too late.
Exactly. Where is LeBron? Go, go, go. Push the ball. The Oh, dear Lord. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, Gerald. What the hell? Oh, no. He, how could you let him beat you down the court? <sighs> Gerald, aside from that, it's like, how did AD and LeBron miss like back-to-back -back layups down there? And then now LeBron is hurt. Oh, yeah. This game's over. Yeah, well, they don't win every game, cool bro. But I'm glad you're such a big fan of his. Cool bro, you don't seem upset at all about the game <laughs> i know Yeah, it looks like it, FL24. Hey, Nick, I just wanted to say thank you, man, for sticking this out with me, my friend. It's nice to go through this pain, with, at least with you and everybody else out there in the chat. I appreciate you sticking with me here. Ger Gerald, this one, this one, I can't, I can't lie. Like, this one hurt, right? Because, because my, my uh, spirits were up for a good portion of the game. Yeah, they were. Uh, Lakers had a chance, an opportunity. They had a double-digit lead and uh, didn't get it done. I, I really don't know, like, how to process this, to be honest. <laughs> it's it's very deflating. Like, I'm, I'm hoping this team balances back from this, right? But, but let's just say it would suck, it would suck for, our, uh, for our season to end uh, – and uh, within the next three games. Tell me about it, but we'll see what happens. But the Lakers, they do lose tonight, uh, 114 to 103. Uh, we'll be back uh, coming up on Tuesday for the game then. But we're coming up here in just a few moments on the post game right here at the Lakers fast break. Thanks, everyone, for joining us, and we'll see you soon. I agree, Shwag.